YouTube, what's going on, guys? All right, let's try this again, man. Keep getting messed up, having to start over. Again, be fast seven hours. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. Monday morning, uh, July 8th is the date, okay? All right, so right now we're going to go over the Epstein indictment, all right? The paperwork just came out on Bluebird. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see if it's real. I read a bunch of federal indictment paperwork in my life. Uh, two of my best friends that I grew up with were federally indicted. Um, and I read a lot of paperwork while I was in jail. I know what paperwork looks like. I can tell you if it's real just by off how they're talking. However, there's a seal. You know what I mean? Like the federal seal is on paperwork. And you can't fake it. Like, you know what I mean? Because pe people will put out pa fake paperwork on people. For example, like um, in a big high drug case in the city. And say like all oh, this side goes down, right? But this side was dealing with boys on the east side. And the east side dudes didn't fall. Which usually doesn't happen, but you say one of them is on the street. Now everyone's looking at him like, yo, he must be telling. And say he really didn't, though, they'll make fake paperwork. And they'll try to forge the federal indictment seal, but you can't. You know I mean, it's like implanted in the paper. Now the thing with an article on the internet is we ain't going to see that, man. And they know that they can get around that, especially people who don't know. You know what I mean? But there's terminology and words the feds use, like safety valve. Um, you see safety valve in there, you know the feds wrote that. Like, we'll just, well, I'm going to read it with you so you get my, uh, you know, like my first reaction. I didn't read it yet. All right. Uh, but we'll get back to that in one second. One second. I just want to touch up on one thing real, real quick because it is a um, very serious matter that there are earthquakes shaking the ground. Bad enough, houses are getting split. Uh, middle of the streets, you know, then we're getting flooded in Pittsburgh. Uh, by the way, I'm reporting live from downtown Pittsburgh right now. Um, also, we're getting, um, dude, the weather's just crazy, bro. 90 degrees in Alaska, it was the other day. 90 degrees in Alaska. And then I just seen snow last night in Mexico. Then flooding in Minnesota. Mississippi beaches are, wait a minute. Yeah, Mississippi beaches are closed down because a poisonous seaweed is so thick in the water. The water looks like swamp water. And if you guys remember the live last night, there's seaweed sweat stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to Africa. Uh, just one big glob of seaweed, and it's a health hazard. It also ruins coral reef. The fish, the fish are in danger. Like it, that's pretty serious. Then the crops got flooded in Tennessee. Um, all them tornadoes in freaking uh, Ohio last month. Like, where does it stop? I, it just keeps going. And, man, I was going over YouTube videos of mine. Dude, like, man, and just in the winter, I was just watching me complain about it being 60 degrees one day, and then the next day it being negative degrees and snow looking fake. And then remember all the negative 50 degrees in the Midwest, people got, people died, 20 homes people died. So, there's something wrong with the climate, and I don't think it's Mother Nature, uh, in my opinion. But I just want to show you the headline. Seven aftershocks of magnitude three or higher hit Ridgecrest overnight. Okay? Real quick and simple. You see the headline? And we just went over the magic number seven in the Colin Kaepernick thumbnail video a couple nights ago. If you didn't know, go watch the magical number seven. They go by this code in Jamarcha. The media use it every single day of our lives. Okay? Now, it might not stick out to you, but seven earthquake aftershocks, seven aftershocks of magnitude three or higher. So right away, that's seven three times. Seven three times would look like seven, seven, seven. And seven, seven, seven next to each other means order out of chaos. It's cabal. It's what they live by. It's a code they live by. It's what they go by. Order out of chaos. Uh, build, destroy, rebuild, make us pay taxes to rebuild it, okay? It's a hustle with the money, and they keep people spinning. No one knows the truth. It, it, this is what they go by, man. Numbers are part of us. Like, dude, numbers and letters, are, that's another thing they believe in. The book of form says that God created the world by merging the number with the letter with the word, or the letter with the number with the word. Um, so, seven... Half the shots of magnitude three high. So right away I see seven seven seven. Now, 
If you deny that, listen to this part. As many as seven small earthquakes, each more than three in magnitude, struck the rig. Wait, look, if they're each more than three in magnitude, why they use the number three? Because on everything I love, that's what it says. First line and second paragraph. Zoom in if you want. Now, it then goes on to say, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, the earthquake struck between nine and thirty-six miles. Okay. Which you can get three nines out of that number, turn it upside down, you get six six six. But even better, from Ridgecrest in Kent County, from eleven eighteen p.m. Sunday and one nineteen a.m. Monday. That's the time that they report to you guys. Okay, so eleven eighteen is eight plus one equals nine makes nine one one. And 119 a.m. is 911. Now, in numerology, you have to understand there is something they literally go by. It's real. It's called mirror imaging. It's just a number backward mirror imaging. That is real. It's not using, oh, you're just reaching and looking for different ways to make your narrative right. No, mirror imaging is part of math. So, if you look right here, okay, and numerology is just adding these numbers up. Okay, one plus eight equals nine. That makes it nine one one. And then right there, one nineteen a.m. The mirror image is nine one one. It's nine one one. And, and um, guys, that is their, that's their freaking thing, man. Like that. This is what they go by, dude. I just don't know how else to explain it, man. Like I, I really believe it with all my heart, man. Like I think it's the closest we can get to really knowing what's going on and able to almost not predict. The future. It's never going to be predicted. It's not. That's just not how. That's just how God don't work. He don't let you. Anything can be messed up or messed with or, um, you know, just have to change plans type shit. Now, excuse my language. Let's get on to Epstein, man, because this is for the next video. So, guys, I want you to come back in a little bit, and I'm gonna try to. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how I just tried to link Russia. 14 seconds just passed to all the earthquakes and maybe even other uh, weather uh, that's going on. But I'm telling you guys, I, I, I got to put, let me, let me let this call go by, hold on. All right, now, just come back, I'm going to try to link that, watch that video, it'll be coming next. I had to put this on first because, um, I don't know, I just picked this first. Okay, so, first things first, Epstein faces prison for sex trafficking, U.S. seeks, Mansion. All right. First thing I want to put out, man. Every Q movement person, I want you in the comments. I want to know your opinion. Why is this mainstream real? Why is this time mainstream is telling the truth, but everything else is lying? All right. Or everything on Trump is a lie. And I'm not saying either or. Okay. The one thing I definitely don't. The clear is a side, okay? I give you my opinion, what I think, and no, I don't believe in Trump, and I, I, I completely keep going back and forth on him, but I just give him hope, like maybe there's hope for him, maybe he, I wish he was from God, like I just hope he is, but I don't think it, man, it's, it's, it's there, man, he's not, man, he's not, and deceit is part of it, man, like they, they deceive, but now I just want to notice how, why is this mainstream media the truth now? Because we were waiting for indictments, sealed indictments to be unsealed for how long now? Let me have this call goodbye. Um, is that why? Now, another thing I just want to point out real quick is that the day he got arrested, okay? He got arrested on Saturday, July 6th. That's what this says, and I'm pretty sure that's the first, it first came out. He got arrested on July 6th, 2019. He got arrested on the sixth day of the month, and he's 66 years old. 666, man. It's right there. So, look, it's either this. This is all just uh, propaganda, uh, distractions, and whatnot. Or maybe it's a sign from God saying, hey, that's that's the devil himself working. Man, you never, you never know. The numbers might be a sign from God, man. It, it could clear. It, like, all these numbers were freaking out. Might it, the truth's so crazy that it could just be signs from God. And we're looking at, like, they're doing it, which I do think they are. But maybe, well, what if it was just God telling us, you know what I mean? 
However, though, I'm not sure that's what it is. I think God just lets us do our thing, man, and we know what we got to do to get there, you know? Okay, now, uh, before I read what the other thing I want to say real quick, I got to try not to make this video too long, is that, um, all right, let's just read and I'll give my opinion. All right, fund manager Jeffrey Epstein used his wealth and power to sexually abuse dozens of young girls for years at one of the biggest mansions in Manhattan, paying them hundreds of dollars in cash for each encounter and hundreds more if they brought in more victims, U.S. prosecutors said. Now, I do want to say real quick, guys, is that one thing I do believe is that this dude did this stuff. I think for sure he fits, he fits the profile, man. I've been in prison with these dudes, man. He fits the profile. That's all I'm saying. Think of like, think of like Sandusky, all right? How close do they look? I'm telling you, it's an image, man. It's how they look in prison. So, I mean, I understand people lie and stuff, but you know, it's been brought up with him too many times, man. He's a creep. I mean, face the facts is that he's a creep. But does that mean he's going to go to prison? Let's find out. Okay. Now, federal prosecutors are ch charging him with sex trafficking and conspiracy and seeking to send him to prison for years to s and seize his man Manhattan home, okay? Now, we have, to go, we have to find where the max penalty is and the minimum penalty is for these crimes. Under their um, federal guideline laws and with his record of already being a sex offender. Um, this dude already did uh, time, and guess what it was? 13 months, 13 months. Just the weird number that plays out, man. You understand, that's not a federal bid, man. They said he did a federal sentence. 13 months isn't a federal sentence. Like, it, it, it's, it'd be a year and a day, okay? Wouldn't it be 13 months? That's not... The feds don't give you 13 months. Um, I'm not saying they couldn't. It's, it's just not typical, man. And the state definitely don't. The county? County, yeah. And he was in some type of work release where he could leave every single day. Okay, but I'm not sure if he was a state or federal inmate in that. So actually, I don't know about that. Because I didn't read if he was state, fed, or county. But he did time for pedophilia or sex trafficking. Uh, one of them. Okay. <clears throat> the indictment unsealed on Monday against the well-connected finan financer came days after his arrest upon returning from overseas and just hours after federal agents used a crowbar to enter the townhouse. The charges include sex acts with girls as young as 14, look at that number, 14, at 14, 7 twice. Okay, here we go. Charges which include a sex act with girls as young as 14 carry a minimum of 10 years in prison if he's convicted. So, I'll just throw this out there right now that that's probably the max he'll do. And that's the minimum. That's probably the max he'll do. He is expected to make an appearance later on Monday and seek to be released on bail. Epstein is a Jet setter famous for fearing prominent figures including Donald Trump and Bill Clinton to his Paul Beach compound on a private jet and was later nicknamed the Lolita Express by tabloids. He was taken into custody Saturday after years of accusations of child molestation and previous convictions that yielded him a minimal sentence. His deal with prosecutors in that case recently reemerged as a pol political controversy. Yeah. And that's when I try to tell you that it's all politics with the law. Every arrest, every sentence, it's all politics, man. They will send innocent people away. I've seen it done. I believe it was done. Even if I didn't know someone was innocent, you know what I mean? You can talk to some people and just know. I mean, everyone ain't guilty. But um, it's all politics when it comes down to. Every law is political. Okay, um... Prosecutor said the sex acts occurred in Epstein's home in Palm Beach, Florida. I think I read that part. The Justice Department is attempting to seize Epstein's Manhattan residence through forfeiture, proceedings on the grounds that his spacious townhouse at 9 East 71st Street was used for sex trafficking. 9 
each second be first. There's another seven in there, but let's just read it around. Hold on. All right. Epstein's lawyer is Martin Weiberg and Reed Wintergarten, Weingarten, declined to comment on the charge. Epstein was arrested at Teterboro Airport in New Jersey after he returned from France, according to a person familiar with the matter. In court, prosecutors may emphasize, emphasize his access to a private plane and home overseas. Okay, that's probably about Bond. That's probably what they're talking about. Along with his wealth and the steep penalty for sex trafficking as part of an argument to deny him bail. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. The case against Epstein indicates that at least three employees of his were involved in recruiting and scheduling minors for sexual encounters with him, as well as other unspecified associates. One of them was based in New York, while two other assistants based at his mansion in Palm Beach were responsible for scheduling the encounters there and escorting victims to a room in the house according to the indictment. Okay, this is not the indictment on the seal. This is an article, man. Dude, they got me. Man. This is not the indictment on the seal, bro. <laughs> Epstein created a vast network of underage victims for him to sexually exploit in locations including New York and Palm Beach, according to the indictment. U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman is scheduled to hold an 11 a.m. news conference. Epstein has been held since his arrest at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Lower Manhattan, the same high security facility where Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign chief, is being detained while he faces state fraud charges. Okay. Epstein has been under scrutiny for more than a dec de decade, with teenage girls saying he used his employees to bring them to his Florida mansion for sex and paid them to recruit new victims. In 2008 plea deal that has received intense criticism, Epstein pleaded guilty to two state charges of soliciting a prostitute and served 13 months in a Florida state prison while avoiding prosecution for federal sex shopping offenses and the decades of prison time he could have faced if convicted. So to me, a pair of 13 months is not normal state. You're no, you don't get a 13 month state center. You get a one to two at the minimum, two to four, two and a half to five, three to six, three and a half to seven, four to eight, four and a half to nine, five to ten, five and a half to eleven, six to twelve, six and a, you get what I'm saying? Come on now. Been doing this for years, man. So one thing I know, man, is the law. And I know how to seek to these little scumbag creeps, too, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, sometimes you just need different minds like this, where we all start thinking together, man. And that's what I'm talking about. All right, hold up. The Miami Hill last year, decades of prison time he could have faced if convicted. Hold on, I skip some. Guilty two state charges of solicit for us to. Four state prison while avoiding prosecution for federal sex trafficking offenses and decades of prison time he could have faced if convicted. The Miami Herald last year published a series of articles reporting that the top federal prosecutor in Southern Florida at the time, Alex Acosta, worked with Epstein's lawyers to fashion the deal. Acosta, now the U.S. Labor Secretary, violated federal law when he failed to declare a federal non prosecution agreement with many of Epstein's alleged victims, a federal judge ruled in February. The Herald said it found out about 60 victims. In the new case, which is being handled partly by the public corruption until the unit in the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan, additional alleged victims have come forward who weren't covered by the non-prosecution prosecution agreement, according to the person familiar with the matter. Last week, a federal judge ordered the unsealing of documents related to the Florida case. Um... This is not a federal indictment at all. At all. Not at all. And another thing is how they're linking him with Trump. You see what this says. That sign of arrest is a worry for Donald Trump. Now, Q movement people, please tell me why it says that. Okay? I guess I'll read it. It's already at 20 minutes, so I don't want to make this long. But. If this is part of Q's movement and the, the unsealed indictments, why is he being associated with Trump now? 
You know what I mean? Is this just a deep state push? You know what I mean? Now they got associated with Trump real quick. Was he enemies with Trump? He invited Trump to the house. You know what I mean? He invited Trump to his house. Why is, he, why is Trump indicting him then? If this is all from Trump's, uh, you know, uh, of these still indictments. And guys, I'm not telling you. I hope it is. I want these people gone. Okay? I don't like these type of people. I'm not on their side. Believe it or not, Q people, I'm on your side. I'm with all of you. Because you all welcome over here whenever. Okay, we're, 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 we got to be together out here, man. This dividing shit ain't going to work. That's what it's for. And partly that's what Q's for. Because it's splitting a line between the people. It's making sides. It's making teams. It's making the Q movement and the non-Qs. No, nah, man, I'm not neither of that shit, okay? But I do respect all you guys' opinion. I'm, I'm curious why is he getting implemented, implicated, whatever, with Donald Trump. If Trump is the one that's pushing for these indictments to be unsealed. The man facing accusations of sex trafficking and pedophilia has been associated with many high, pro, high profile figures, including the U.S. president. Jeffrey Epstein, a prominent money manager who knows sprawling homes in Palm Beach, New York, the Virginia Islands, and other locales, was charged as a sex trafficker and pedophilia by federal prosecutors in Manhattan Court on Monday. In an, <coughs> in an interesting, interesting twist, the U.S. Attorney's Office of Manhattan has put its public corruption unit in charge of Epstein's case not as much to be expected as human trafficking team, although the latter unit is being consulted poorly. It's likely, at least in part, that the case is being handled by corruption prosecutors because of the controversial and lenient plea deal struck between that side and federal law enforcement officials in Florida back in 2008. The financer was, was being investigated at a time for having sex with underage girls, many of them orphans or runaways. What a creep, cuz. See, just hearing this makes me think bad about this dude, man. And that's what I mean with the power of suggestion, man. This media people know what they're doing, man. It's the most brilliant minds in the world working at, at doing this, bro. Like, it's just what you gotta remember, guys. You always gotta try to look at it from both sides. Try to stay, try to stay skeptical, you know what I mean? Look for facts, which is very hard to do. It's not easy, man, but we can't really get them. It's hard, you know what I mean? But um, Alexander Acosta, who is now President Donald Trump's labor secretary, was the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Florida in 2008, and he supervised a group of lawyers that forged the Epstein deal. Members of the Costa's team from that period have said that they have the evidence to prove Epstein had violated federal law and did as much as they could to see that justice was served. But Julie Brown, a Miami Hero reporter, published a series of stories last fall that raised questions about the Costa's independence and prompted the new federal probes of the U.S. Attorney's and offices in Miami. Okay, Trump's name was among them too. Seeing the president's name mixed in with dozens, if not hundreds, of other well-known personalities is hardly unusual. He has had a certain form of celebrity for a very long time. But for a while, Trump was more than just a casual acquaintance of Epstein. The financier was a member of Trump's Palm Beach Club, Mar a Lago, and the man dying at one another's home. Trump flew on Epstein's plane at least once. According to Brown, Epstein is quoted in court papers as saying he wanted to set up his ball to see. And you know what? Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Guess what? Guess what? You know what? If Trump was on a plane with him and Trump was in the damn Peru with him and damn South Africa, the damn beach house uh, in the mud, would that, it don't matter. That don't it, that don't mean he knew what he was doing. That don't that don't need to be read, man. I'm so sick of this. The media with their little dumbass wars. Dude, we're, the media's back and forth, bro. We got, how many, dude, thousands of volcanoes, I mean, thousands of, thousands of earthquakes have been going off. And every time something happens that needs to be talked about, they, they blow something like this on it. Then as soon as they blew this on it, they hit us with more stuff from Russia. And I mean, they just make articles to shadow other articles that are supposed to be important. The mainstream media is like, dude, they're like some of the worst people I, I, I think I can imagine in our society, man. And whether they know what they're doing, whether they're just puppets, 
it's still wrong because if you're a puppet, you still have to know what you're doing to other people. I mean, if you don't know what those people drinking blood at night, then, I mean, I don't know, but you need to do your research on media. But listen, guys, um, that is just not enough to go on. That Trump was in a plane with him. I don't need more freedom. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeding into that, all right? Hey, Donald Trump's Donald Trump, bro. I right? pray for the man. Pray for him, man. It's the best thing you can do. Pray for your enemies and pray for Donald Trump, man. Whether it's your enemy or not, that he is a good man and that and, and, and God may fill his heart, okay? And also pray for me and I pray for you guys as well. Pray for the whole world. Pray for everyone, man. Pray for who? Pray for all these dudes, man. Pray, pray, pray. Pray and start powerful. Big pause. But I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and throw dirt on Trump's name because that's just his own. That's his thing. Now, what's up, bro, bro? That's just his thing. Enough. Now, what do I think about Epstein? Okay, here's what I think, man. Honestly, I'm just telling you, you know what I mean? It's possible this article was just a shadow of other ones, and absolutely nothing happens from it. In a week or two, this will be gone, and it won't come back for months. You know what I mean? And that's how they do, just like how Russia just came back in the media a couple months. Iran was just last week. Now, I, you know what I mean? You, you, get, you guys know what I mean. But regardless... The max this dude will do is the minimum of 10 years, okay? And believe it or not, that ain't enough time when you touch a little girl, okay? Mm, bro. Ah, man, I gotta get off the subject. This is a trigger for me. I don't like it. I'd probably, uh, never mind. But, so, the last thing I wanna say is that I can almost guarantee you from my personal experiences with the law, the state system, the federal system, and the juvenile system is that money talks and bullshit walks. Trust me when I tell you, this dude is going to get off, man. Whether it's off with a slap on the wrist or he does some years, he's not going to get what he deserves, man. All right? If he does three years, you think he got what he deserves? If he does three years, no. Nah. They're going to say, I'm telling you, they're going to say that some type of evidence ain't lining up. It's substantial. They're going to hit him with something. Be ready for it. This dude ain't doing time. I'm telling you. He's already about to be on bond, okay? Now, they're fighting it, saying that he can fly out of here. Listen, he got too much money, guys. All right. All right. Get the MB5679, man. Get you the dial line. Get the dial. We're back with you guys.